So this is one of a few clouds modules I built. So it's originally by Mutable Instruments, but they did the sort of DIY version. It was all open source stuff. So I built a few of these, kept one, sold the rest, and I thought I'd do an explainer video um, about it. So what it is, is really a granular sampler. So it takes sound in from two inputs, left and right inputs there. So it flows through memory and it basically, you can tell what part of that sound um, and at what frequency or what pitch to send it to the outputs. So here's a little diagram that explains it. So the sound source comes in here, flows through the memory in real time, and then you can select the size of the slice of the sample to feed to the outputs and the position along that sort of timeline, okay? And that's controlled there by this position and size knob. You've also got a pitch knob, so you can change the pitch of the output and also the triggering of that, that sound is caused uh, initially by the density knob. If you turn that to the left, you get regular pulses of output. If you turn that to the right, you get, um, you get uh, random pulses of output, which get more frequent the more you turn it clockwise there, okay? Texture is really how the envelope of that sound output um, is shaped, so you can have hard, uh, sort of hard on and hard off or, um, or sort of sloping ends to that envelope, right? And then the blend is obviously the input to the output, but in this um, setting now, uh, I've got that as a reverb. So it actually adds a reverb, reverb if you select this, this light here. So you can change the mode. Um, so that's mix, panning, feedback, and reverb. Okay, so I leave that on reverb usually when I'm using it. So I've got a microphone rigged up. I'll just do a little demonstration um, and um, I'll say something like, Friday is the best day of the week. Right, so the freeze button actually freezes that timeline, so the memory actually stops moving, and, and so that sound is actually stored in there now, so that's locked in. And I can, should be able to cause an output then. Just got to find the start of it. There it is, so... So, so you can get the idea of that and then um, the size and if I turn the density to full and sweep this one then you get the whole sample played back to the output okay and if I turn that down home in on certain parts of that sound and then the pitch does exactly what you think it would do okay a bit of reverb if you like so i turn the density off you've also got inputs to control these and what i've got on the beat step uh, key step pro here is a couple of outputs so i've got gate which will go into trigger and then pitch, which surprise, surprise, I'm putting into voltage per octave and that replaces this knob here. Um, and if I set that going, So, there you go, so that's uh, Mutable Clouds.